talking about our weekly favourite person, Norma Foley, the Minister for Education. So to start off, Paddy Kovacki on Twitter uh, put up a very interesting tweet, and I do recommend you checking out. I retweeted it on my Twitter account because I did run over for the win. So we ask, I wonder if OT, which is the state propaganda network, let's be honest, um, North Korea's state propaganda network, let's call it that, and Simon McCovney and Norma Foley, in regards to the fathers, both having former TDs have an offshore bank accounts. It'd be interesting to our fairness like. Um so but you yeah, no surprise there, Norma Foley, you know, she's the same as Avada, probably a crook too, one of Bertie's good pals, let's be honest, Bertie and probably the West and Fina Fall's good pals. Um the gravy train as we would call them. Um and let's be honest, that's probably the only reason why Norma Foley got in. Um is that her father was a former like a former um high up T D in Fina Fall. Um, and obviously we can see she's probably the same as her, just really doesn't just doesn't care about the general public, just wants to annoy everybody and piss everyone off. Like, it's not fair, I say no before he has this, I say she probably has this bike account, I don't even know if her father's still alive. But, um, you know, again, and another thing too, I've seen this interesting tweet the other day from somebody. So you know the way Norma Foley's always speaking, she's talking shy half the time anyways. I, I, I think people are probably just sick of listening to her. And just like, why in the name of God is she still minister? And how is she still here? And who 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 had the bright mind in Fina Far to say she'd be a good education minister? Um like literally if I put a six year old in charge of the education system, I think she that six year old would do better than Norma Foley ever did in this for God forsaken country, you can say. Um so basically, the treat goes like this. So, basically, normal forty often says, "You know, let me be very clear." And then now that be clear, is all oh, answer the question. So she, basically, she would say that, and then wouldn't answer the question. I just couldn't care to answer the question. And that's really what it is. It's down to she just just doesn't care. She literally couldn't care less about anybody. And let's totally be honest. Like she just literally sits there. And doesn't care. And just literally, like any other TD, at least they care a small bit. They have to pretend that they care a small bit. She literally doesn't give a damn. She literally sits there and just doesn't care. Literally doesn't care and just laughs at it. And just, like, you know, like, like what is wrong with you, man, a minister? Um, <laughs> like, I don't know. You know, and great, great joy and I am normal probably. I think at this stage we have to get the biggest award in the country for literally challenging Norma Foley's narrative um, every 10 seconds. Um, and actually, here's a conspiracy theory at the end of this. Norma Foley could be on the, could have been the person before the Titanic. So you know the way they said the Titanic was unsinkable? Um, well, Norma Foley, you know the way they said it was, it was a very safe um, environment, the Titanic was a very safe ship. Well, I think Norma Foley might have been involved in that and might have just said it was safe and then everything crashed and sank and then went fire and then crashed to the bottom of the ocean. Like, literally, it's perfect. It's the perfect scenario for Norma Foley. No wonder she loves the Titanic because everything just sank and everything was mayhem and just she enjoyed it. 